like that, uh, actually. Scotty B, does the news of the college football playoff expansion hurt conferences from expanding like Washington and Oregon going to the Big Ten? Well, it's kind of like what we talked about. I mean, if it's not going to be till 2026, then no. They're going to leave. That, that's too much time and too much money on the table in my eyes unless they somehow get a TV contract because of the CFP that helps them. But if it gets sooner, maybe. I mean, because Oregon might sit there and be like, hey, all, all we got to do is win the Pac-12 and we get to get into the uh, CFP, okay, I'll take my chances on whoever they add, San Diego State or whatnot, and uh, them in Utah will be kind of the two teams that are going to win it every year, maybe Washington if they get you know their act together. But I, I think that it would be appealing if it happens sooner. I just I don't know that it will. Ross, and that, yeah, that is, that is a major question. I, I don't know the answer to that just yet. But you know, on the one hand, you think that the Pac-12 now has a path Whereas they didn't necessarily have a path before. I mean, they kind of had to be, you know, a one loss team at worst. And probably a particular, you know, brand would have to be a one loss team to get in as a pack team uh, or be unbeaten, kind of like the same position the Big 12's typically in. Um, so now that you have that path, is that easier? I, I don't know because the money factor still plays into it. How does the money change? Everybody's going to get more money with the new playoff. I mean, that's that's the main appeal for the schools out there is that, yeah, there's access, but there's also a lot more money. It's like the Big Ten TV deal. It's going to, yeah. you know, just double uh, at least. So we're going to talk about over a billion dollars now attached to an expanded playoff, and, and I don't know how that changes what schools might be looking at monetarily and, and the pull or push uh, for, for where they want to be in a conference over the next few years. Uh, Greg Sankey just released a statement, or at least Ross Dellinger. Uh, Greg Sankey, this is an exciting day for the future of college football. As originally proposed, the 12-team playoff creates more access for teams and conferences across the country to compete in uh, college football's championship event. There's work to be done to make this format a reality, but I am pleased we are all moving in the same direction with a common purpose so that was greg sankey and um yeah man what a what a day what a day for college football and its future and for better or worse again is what we're going to uh, to find out ultimately uh getting back to uh some of the texts from earlier 